Today I wanted to create a video showing the proper use of Threadlocker when installing components on your firearm. All components that are machined have oil residue left over from the manufacturing process. This includes screws as they are machined as well. The items used in the process are a pipe cleaner, a clean rag, thread locker, and a degreaser of some type. In this video I will use the cross armory thumb grip straight from the package to demonstrate the preparation of your components. I am going to take a small amount of solvent in the cap to start the cleaning process. Now remove the screws from your component in preparation for cleaning. Insert the screw into the solvent to wet the surface, and then using the shop towel, take the screw and grab it in the towel using the proper driver to turn the screw in the towel. Use as much pressure as you can to clean the residue from the surface. As you can see from the towel that we have removed the machining oil that coated the surface. It is vital for thread locker to work properly that all mating surfaces must be cleaned of any oils. Now we'll prepare the other screw with the same process. With both screws clean, we now focus our attention on the holes that they will be screwed into. For this, we will use a pipe cleaner folded over and dipped in the solvent to clean the holes that will receive the screws. Now we are ready to use thread locker on the assembly. For most, Loctite 242, also known as Loctite Blue, is preferred. A little goes a long way, so make sure the excess is removed from the part. Repeat the process on all remaining screws and install your component on the firearm. Allow the assembly to set for 24 hours before use.